handle the truth. Hello everybody, my name is Ifan Yuban. This is 360 Degree Mastery. This is the channel where we teach you personal effectiveness, self-mastery, and how to create, grow, and manage your wealth. Now, before I continue, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can have access to all my online content. Hit the notification bell so you will know when new videos are coming out. I put out new videos every week and my videos are full of tips to make you a better person, to make you a happier person, to make you a more successful you in life in business and in your relationships. Now, today, I want to talk to the young men out there. No offense to the ladies. I do videos for both genders, but today, I want to talk to the young men. I get a lot of requests um, for assistance, for advice from young men, and there's something that I've noticed a lot of young people out there, men, um, do not seem to understand the role of discipline, the role of competence, the role of commitment, the role of sacrifice in the success dynamic. They want to succeed. They want to be given something for nothing they want to be you know giving something without you know giving anything in return and i don't understand this okay that's why i want to quickly tell you guys young men let me tell you five things all right that you need to know as a young man you need to know these five things nobody else is going to tell you you might not hear this um you know from your church you might not hear this from your parents you might not hear this from your peers but if i'm your wife go and go ahead and tell you now number one is the world does not owe you anything it doesn't matter where you're coming from. It doesn't matter the kind of upbringing you have had. It doesn't matter who your parents are. The world does not owe you anything. If you want to make it in life, especially if you are from a disadvantaged background, you're going to have to work hard, all right? You have to realize and accept this truth that anything you get out of this life is what you get by the grace of God and by the effort of your hands. So the world owes you nothing. That's number one. Number two, um, you have to make that sacrifice. Success comes as a result of sacrifice. So you have to make that choice to give up something if you are going to get something. You can't eat your cake and have it. A lot of young men seem to think that there is a way they can follow a shortcut and then they can emerge on the other side successful, rich and wealthy and influential. It doesn't work that way, all right? Even if you sell your soul, at the end of the day, you're going to lose that thing for which you sold your soul. So you have to make the choice to be successful and you have to endure, you have to make the sacrifice. Now, the third thing I want to tell you is that you cannot proceed, you cannot progress in life at another person's pace. Okay, it doesn't matter whether you guys you are born together, whether you are born on the same day, whether you are born on the same month, whether he's just a couple of months older or younger than you, you cannot proceed in life at the pace of your friend or at the pace of your neighbor or at the pace of your associates, all right? You can never be old enough to get married. You can only get married when you are spiritually mature, when you are financially mature, when you are emotionally mature, not because your friends are getting married, you feel that you need to get married as well, not because your friends are getting jobs or because your friends are traveling abroad or because your friends are buying cars you feel that you too you need to get a car as well it doesn't work that way okay in, at times in life you are going to be ahead of your peers at times in life you're going to be behind your peers at times in life you're going to be at par with your peers that is just the way it is so progress through life at your own pace don't run your race according to another person's timetable that is the third thing that i need to tell you now the fourth thing that you need to know as a young man you have to learn how to delay gratification that is key to wealth that is key to success you must learn how to delay gratification the sacrifice part is just one aspect of it learning how to delay gratification is another part of it i know so many young men that have ruined their lives um, over something as trivial as you know a pair of shoes or a watch don't destroy your life because of um, something you know the, um, trivial learn to delay gratification you see that young lady that you like Hold on, all right? Don't rush into a relationship with her. Don't jump into bed and then pull her along with you because um, at the end of the day, you might not be compatible with each other, but you might have both destroyed your life. So you have to learn how to delay gratification. Don't spend everything you have the moment you get it because you are hungry, because you are thirsty, or because you want to get high. Learn how to delay gratification. That is the fourth thing. Now, the fifth thing that I want you to know as a young man is... Do not let her define your finances. Okay, a lot of young men they meet somebody, she makes you feel good, you feel on top of the world when you are with her, and then you begin to make stupid decisions, stupid financial decisions just because you are in a relationship. You are not the first person to enter into a romantic liaison, so you have to be very, very careful. She does not define your economy. Anything that you are doing today is going to echo 
tomorrow. So you have to be very, very careful the kind of decisions you make because of your girlfriend or your fiance or you know or your spouse. Because, like I said before, she does not define your economy. It is very, very important. You have to keep that in mind as a young man. I'm speaking specifically to young men. That's the fifth thing. Um, now, the sixth thing. Let me let me give you a bonus. I said five, but let me give you a bonus. The sixth. Thing you need to know is that if you do not invest you cannot be wealthy okay people come to me and um, I give them maybe something to do and I pay them a little bit of money and they go they spend that money on betting games they spend that money on trivialities and then they come back the next day and they want me to give them another job and give them another money that is not how it works that's not how you grow wealth I've talked about investing the law of investment um, in wealth creation Please go back and watch my videos, it's very important. Those are the six things I want to tell you young men out there that you want to succeed but you feel that um, you have to piggyback on, you know, on somebody's progress to get your own. Okay, very important. How do you see this video? If this video made sense to you at all, please go ahead and click like. Share this video with somebody who you feel needs to watch this video. If you have seen this video and you feel somebody that you know needs to watch this video, share this video with them. Let them subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right, visit my online store. The address is also there at the bottom of the screen. SaskeVentures.com. We have all the fun new bad books available. Just click on the titles you want. All right, add to cart, proceed to checkout, supply your details, make payments, boom, and we deliver to you just like that. My name is Ifan Yuban. This is 360 Degree Mastery. I wish you a profitable week and young men, please. Okay, heed instruction. All right, turn your lives around and I wish you all success. I wish you all progress. Namaste.